In this video, I'm going to share with you five tips that are going to help you feel more comfortable and more powerful in front of the camera. These tips for me have been a life saver because I experienced it. I was really, really shy. The amazing thing is that there are a couple tips that you can actually implement right away that can help you feel more comfortable, look more powerful, and actually start enjoying the experience. And today I'm gonna share them with you so you can improve the way that you feel in your photos. First thing, it's to know yourself. When we don't know about a subject, our first reaction can be negative. But then when we start knowing this thing, you start opening your mind and then everything, that idea, whatever the idea is, starts feeling way more comfortable. So that exact concept, we need to apply it to ourselves. And the fact is that we, if we start knowing ourselves, how we look in front of the camera, how we move in front of the camera, then that knowledge is going to give you the power to know what you like and what you don't like. So when somebody asks you for a photo, you already know what works and what doesn't really work for you. Having that knowledge, that power, give you confidence. I will always recommend to have at least five poses. I do share a lot of poses in my YouTube channel. I'm, I'm gonna leave you a couple videos here, there, somewhere. <laughs> so you can check more about poses and how to feel really comfortable in front of the camera. And some of you might think, Bonnie, it's not natural. I don't like photos that are super posed. Okay, amazing. But the reality is that we are not Kim Kardashian, that it's walking around with a photographer shooting photos of her and she can look more natural and they can capture feeling or you're not in a continuous photo shoot that you will need to pay a photographer all the time to take your photo. So in most of the situations, we actually have to be ready to take the photo. And if we are camera shy, what really happens is that you don't really know what to do. So how can you start being natural and spontaneous and like super happy and like super fabulous if you don't even know where to start? So if you have a backup plan, you have five poses or you have, then you start adding other poses to your idea. This will give you a portfolio, a mental portfolio that you can actually use at the beginning. Then you're gonna start loosening up a little bit, you're gonna start feeling more comfortable, things are coming to you, that energy, and then you can start being more natural because you already feel comfortable that you know you have a couple shots that you love. My second tip is you are what you say you are. And I'm not gonna start saying things like, be super positive, you need to be positive, and blah, blah, blah. No, this is actually science. Because it is very common that girls are like, I'm just so ugly. Which these are things that are actually not true. But if you say it, you believe it, and that's exactly what you're gonna portray in the photo. I'm gonna share with you a study that it really shows you the power of words. This study is from Alison Woodbrooks, and it's from the Harvard Business School. So my question to you, what are the symptoms when you feel anxiety? Your heart starts palpitating very fast, you start getting sweaty, you know, it's kind of awkward. But then, when you feel excited, how do you feel? It's very, very, very much the same. So what they did in this study, it's very, very interesting. They took a group of people they told them that they needed to sing in a karaoke the song Don't Stop Believing from Journey. I actually love that song. <laughs> Don't stop believing. And they needed to sing the song in public, like where the other people that were part of the experiment. But here's the thing. 
before they start singing, they needed to make a statement. A group of people needed to say, I'm anxious. A group of people needed to say, I'm excited. They also had a group of people that had to say, I'm calm, I'm angry, I'm sad. Oh, and it was a group of people that they had no statement. They didn't need to say anything. The most important results were between, I'm anxious, I'm excited. The whole point is that when they said their statement, they needed to believe that they were anxious, that they were excited before they actually started to sing. Of course, this is a study, so they check their heart palpitations, the way that they perform the song. So the final result is this one. The people that had to say, I'm anxious, they actually reported feeling more anxious after singing. And the people that said, I'm excited, they reported that they felt more excited when they were doing the activity. But not only that, the people that actually said, I'm excited, they perform better. So going back to being in front of the camera, if we're about to take a photo, we ask, we're in a beautiful location and we're going to ask somebody to take a photo of us and you start saying things like this. Hi, can you take a photo of me? Well, I mean, I, I feel a little swollen and stuff, but like, whatever, I'm just gonna take a photo. Woo! Snap! A snap from that. It's not gonna work. If you're already telling yourself that you're not gonna look good in camera, that you're not made for that, that you're not photogenic, what do you think is gonna happen? And by the way, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I share photo tips every week so you can look and feel amazing in your photos. Let's continue. Make up a story. I'm Latina and soap operas are very, very popular in our culture and we call them novelas. They're very dramatic and passionate and full of mystery and full of love. So I, I do joke around a lot with some of my clients when I'm taking their photos and, the, and I tell them, make up a novella in your mind. And I do that because it is true. When you have a concept, you have a story, things start flowing. So, okay, let's take it as an example. I have this next to me. So it will be, it will be like I was at the office, click and somebody got in, click. And then I realized, novella, it was the love of my life. And then I start feeling ashamed, and it's like, ah! It makes it so much easier. You're making a novella, it becomes super fun. And you can actually like start making up super fun things. I would love to know what's your novella? What kind of novella you want to play up in front of the camera? It can be really, really fun. Let me know in the comments. Let's jump on the next tip. Choose wisely. So I, I said choose wisely because when somebody is going to take a photo, everyone is going to take it. Oh, just go and take a photo. But not really. It is very important who's taking the photo. I will suggest that the first person that should be taking your photo, it's you. So you feel, you feel how you look, you start knowing yourself, which is the first step. I do have an online workshop that it's about self-portraits. It's only available in Spanish and I will leave the link in the description box. You can then jump and ask a friend. You can jump and ask a friend. So it could be like a very close friend that you feel very connected. So it's gonna give you a little bit of this feeling, but you're gonna start experimenting a little bit with somebody that is not just yourself. And you're gonna be using these techniques. Then you do need a photo taken by a professional. You need at least one photo every year or every two years, no more than two years. A photo that you can use in your social media profile, on your website, where all becoming personal brands so it is important to have at least one photo that really represents you 
So as I told you before, when you're in front of the camera, you need to transmit that, you, to feel comfortable, to feel there. So you need to choose wisely who's this person that either is a friend or it's somebody that you're gonna hire, that there's connection. You need to have a connection between style because every photographer has their own style. But also you need to have a personal connection. How am I going to feel being with this person for an hour taking my photo? Uh, how is this person going to direct me? Do I feel comfortable talking with this person? A small meeting, it will make a big difference on final results and how you're really going to perform in front of the camera. I do take it very, very, very seriously when I'm taking photos because uh, I want them that at the point that when we actually gonna take the photo we kind of have a click it's really showing me what they want to show in their photo and they are not blurry because of the tension so it is a very important step so choose wisely and before we jump to the next step don't forget subscribe to my YouTube channel become part of the family don't forget to hit the like button if you have been enjoying this video and let's continue with some juicy tips. So the next step is to actually breathe. Breathing is a great tool and it's a tool that helps us calm down, kind of recenter ourselves. So when we actually start being conscious about our breathing before a photo, we actually put ourselves in a better position to perform better in front of the camera. You know, your nerves are gonna be way lower. They use it in yoga, so that's the way you meditate. You become conscious about how you breathe. Let's do it together. One, let make your belly full. So if you notice exactly what I did, when we breathe, we start going like, ah, a heavy thing in our shoulder is coming down. Thank you. So take advantage of your breathing. Also your breathing, and this is an extra tip, that if you breathe, you actually have the perfect separation on your lips. So. for a photo and you don't need the duck face because this is just natural with these tips you're actually gonna be able to feel more comfortable in front of the camera feel free to save this video somewhere maybe you can you can come back to it and recheck if there's a moment that you feel anxious you can go back to this video and recenter and use some of these tools that it will make you really perform better in front of the camera I can't wait to know your results and how you're really feeling. So I'm gonna leave you a lot of information in the description box that it's gonna be very helpful for you. It's part of my blog. Don't forget to subscribe and to like. I share with you photo tips every week and I'm always very, very, very excited to share all this information with you. Your feedback, it's crucial for me. This YouTube channel, it's for you. So don't forget to comment. It is very important for me so I can make more content that you need. See you next week, Shutterbox. Don't forget, you're beautiful and special.